for our big questions this morning about the future of the Bay Area's biggest transit police force. Following January's fatal shooting of an unarmed man, BART is hiring an outside firm to investigate whether it even needs its own armed police officers. ABC 7's Teresa Garcia, live in Oakland with details. Teresa? Well, Eric, there tend to be many more questions than answers right now, ranging from legal, ethical, and technical ones as to whether BART even needs a police force. So what the BART Transit Agency is doing is hoping to generate answers now that it, for the first time, has just put out a formal request to hire a company to do a thorough review of its police force. It hopes to find a company with prior experience in studying mass transit agencies that use a police force. Now, BART is asking for the review to look much deeper into its police practices beyond just the specific fatal shooting of Oscar Grant, the 22-year-old unarmed passenger. This is amateur video of the shooting incident you're looking at, where Grant was fatally shot while lying face down on the Fruitvale BART platform after being pulled aside by BART police due to a fight on board a train. BART's review request asks for the chosen company to answer 10 specific questions. Some of these include, does BART need its own police department? And if so, can it effectively manage one? Should the officers be armed with guns and tasers? Are they properly diffusing incidents according to policies, procedures, and training? And does analysis show any racial profiling by BART police? The deadline for proposals is March 31st, and the board of directors hopes to select a company soon thereafter. Now, the former BART police officer, Johannes Meserly, who is accused of murder, is facing a preliminary hearing at 10 o'clock next Monday. That's when the judge will decide if there's enough evidence to hold that murder charge. Reporting live from Oakland, I'm Teresa Garcia, ABC 7 News.